Despite a COVID curfew, President Trump supporters rallied into the early morning hours in Opelika, Florida. This state, which is too close to call, is still very much in play. Hello, Orlando! The Biden camp leaning on former President Obama to rally voters. He's coming to South Florida later today. Florida is a must win. The gargantuan 29 electoral votes, a key to victory on both sides. In 2016, Donald Trump eked out a narrow win here, a surprise senior vote pushing him to victory. And I think uh, when the final votes are counted, he'll still have a significant uh, uh, plurality uh, and, and, and uh, edge among senior voters. But there are signs that Trump's support among older Floridians is soft. I'm not voting for Mr. Trump because I feel that he is a liar. He perpetuates hate. His whole platform is divide and conquer. And I gave him a chance. And I feel that we need somebody else. Almost three quarters of those 65 and older in the state have already voted. Just because you're registered as a Republican doesn't necessarily mean that's the way you're going to vote. Both campaigns recognize it may be the almost one in five senior voters with no party affiliation at all that determines who takes Florida. It's these older no party affiliates who, if there are any voters in Florida who are undecided, it's them. Donald Trump won them in 2016. I think they're fair game for the Biden campaign. On Sunday, early in-person voting ended here. If you add the mail-in and drop-off ballots to the in-person early votes, this battleground state has had a record pre-election day turnout, more than 8.7 million. 62% of Florida's voters already made their choice for president. And so while we will have had a lot of our voters vote already, I think that you're still gonna have a lot of interest on election day. Because Florida has already started counting the mail-in ballots, in fact, they started three weeks ago, Hoda, it's expected that sometime late on election night, we may actually know who won this state.